In our last Southwest series video, we left you in southeastern Utah among the rock buttes of Valley of the Gods. With Monument Valley closed to the public at the time, the Valley of Gods were a great alternative. We liked Valley of the Gods so much that we started the 17 mile drive two days ago, liked what we saw that we stayed the night for two nights and hung out and enjoyed the views. So today we're going through the second part of it and this particular formation looks pretty cool. They say it looks like a rooster. I think you can see why. I think we lucked out in the time of year to come here because the two days that we were here, maybe six cars drove by and there was nobody within eyeline distance of us. So we had it all to ourselves, just how we like it. We just finished the 17 miles of Valley of the Gods. We really enjoyed it. It took us two days to go through it because no one was around. And behind us is the Moki Dugway. So we are going to climb up that today. It's a three mile, pretty steep road. And then maybe get to Natural Bridges. We'll see. The Moki Dugway is a three mile gravel road with hairpin turns and a 10% grade that climbs over 1200 feet in elevation from the valley floor below to the tops of Cedar Mesa on Route 261 in Utah. It was originally constructed in the 1950s to haul ore from the local mine down to Halchita, Utah. We used it as a shortcut to get from Valley of the Gods to Natural Bridges and the views were stunning. Views for days on the Moki Dugway. Look at that. What you doing, sir? Checking some tire pressure. Making sure this rig's safe. <laughs> Safety first. So we just arrived at Natural Bridges National Monument. We're gonna go check this out. It was recommended by our other van lifer friends. And go from there. Not sure where we're staying tonight. We're at Natural Bridges National Monument today. And there are three natural bridges here, and the one that we're gonna go see right now is actually the second largest natural bridge in the world. How wide? Uh, like 286 feet? I don't know. <laughs> we're so good at this. Papu Natural Bridge. Now we're gonna hike down into the canyon to see up at the Natural Bridge. 
Hiking down to Sipapu Natural Bridge. We're gonna get a view from the bottom from underneath. And uh, the trail has a little bit of snow on it, so it's a little precarious. Throwing in some extra dimensions of fun when you're hanging out cliffside. I'm sure it'll be fine. Not too many hikes have the uh, iron staircase to help you get there, but this one's see-through, so this one would be an instant DQ for Maisha. She's afraid of heights and uh, she doesn't do anything near a ledge or anything where you can see the bottom like a bridge. Dre going down the ladder. This hike has, is short, it has, it's 0.6 miles, but um, it has two staircases and one ladder, so this could be a disqualifier for a lot of people too. Definitely my shape. Nice. We are inside the canyon. Pretty cool. Rocks are really smooth. Been hollowed out by the water over millions of years. And that's actually what's created the natural bridge is water action. The natural bridges are formed by the erosive action of moving water. All three natural bridges have Native American hoppy names. Sipapu Bridge, which is the highest and the longest span in the park, means place of emergence. And the hoppy believed that this was a place that the ancestors came into this world. We're just getting to the bottom of the canyon and there's a little bit of snow and snow melt making this rock traverse, we'll say interesting. So, I'm gonna put the camera away because I don't wanna eat it. Sun's trying to peek out, it feels fantastic. It's probably all of maybe 50 degrees. At this elevation, there's snow and ice everywhere. And the snow's kind of melting, so it makes the trail slick and interesting. But, it's still a good time. We are walking to our next natural bridge. I'm gonna go with Kachina Natural Bridge. Um, don't always get my pronunciations right, but what can we do? It's a paved sidewalk to an overlook to see the bridge and then a 0.75 mile hike to go stand and look around underneath it.
on our way down to Kachina Nat Natural Bridge. Pretty beautiful backdrops in all these canyons. Kachina is named from the rock art symbols that resemble symbols commonly used on the Hopi Chena dolls. So we're down at the bottom, chilling under the Kachina Natural Bridge. This one's a little bit different than the other one. Very wide. Very wide, very large. Um, right over there is the hiking trail, so you can actually start at the first natural bridge and hike all the way to the third one. It's about 8.6 miles. If we had a full day, um, I think that'd be an amazing hike through the canyon. So we read that the natural bridges were formed because these canyon walls are made out of sandstone and over time the water carves out underneath it to form something like this, a natural bridge. It is pretty impressive. It is. These are really big ones. I don't think we've seen natural bridges this big before. That's what she said. arch on the way to the natural bridge. About to walk down to Owachomo nat Natural Bridge. It's right there. And we're three for three. So this is the natural bridge. So we're gonna go check that out. That's a this one's a really short hike. Point two from the parking lot to actually come walk and be underneath it and take a good look at it. So we're gonna see what kind of footage and shots we can get while we're down here before the sun sets. This one is the smallest of the three, but is very picturesque. Oachoma means rock mound in Hopi. 